cantilever is okay so this is a cantilever beam with a uniformly distributed load of 2 key per feet and span is uh, 10 feet what we'll do we'll draw a shear post diagram and bending moment diagram what are the step step number one reaction find reaction okay to find reaction what to do draw the mm, free body diagram say my um, vertical force will be here and then say my concentrated moment will be here now last time we did not show any concentrated moment now we are showing a concentrated moment or reaction why because this is a fixed support fixed support has concentrated moment it can take uh, moment okay say so this is a x so theory unknown in a fixed beam now why i assumed uh, my moment this way no logic i no no there is logic but no answer the reason is you can assume the opposite doesn't matter whatever assign whatever direction you assume if you get a negative number that means the opposite way so that is the clue so don't worry about the direction just assume when uh, when you know it or when you need to do it just assume something but if you are smart and if you assume that that will happen then it will be better for you if you get a negative number you have to come back and send the sign who will do it or you can carry with the negative number but if you can assume whatever is uh, most appropriate that will be easier to you so i know that my moment will be this way common sense why moment will be this way because this beam will try to, to rotate that way twisting that that way this beam will be that way common sense is saying due to load the beam will bend this way then i need some reaction here to resist that so that it is in equilibrium so it is going this way i need to resist it that way so that is the common sense this is why i assume my moment that way okay i made it miss okay so first apply summation of force along x direction is zero no other force along x direction so ax is zero then take summation of f y is zero oh this time we can apply summation of f y now why no other force no other unknown in y direction only one so a is upward minus two k per feet what is the distance 10 feet is zero did i will i consider moment here no because moment is a moment we are doing force so what is my a a is 2 keep per feet times 10 which is 20 keep and we got a positive number that means whatever direction i assumed is right you can show the arrow now do you need to show the arrow no but if you show it it means you are very confident you will feel the taste of it then summation up then we will take the moment okay so summation of moment say a is add a is zero i am assuming clockwise is positive my first force ax we do not need to consider because i am taking moment here there is no distance second force a i do not need to consider third is my moment i need to consider is it clockwise or counterclockwise considering this sign i assume clockwise positive that moment is counterclockwise so negative next force is this force why it is acting roughly here what is the value half oh why half there is no reason half it is not a triangle it's a rectangle so two keep per feet what is the distance five feet the lever on five feet is the force no, does the force uh, give positive moment or negative it will give moment this way so clockwise positive so sign positive any other force no equals zero solve it 10 keep feet 10 keep feet now during the sum of the moment sum of the force any direction is okay any direction you can consider positive doesn't matter but when you will draw it 
that time you have to assume clockwise moment positive that is the key or if you have this confusion you can avoid it repeating when you sum of the moment or sum of the force any direction can be positive when you draw the diagram uh, then moment clockwise is positive only moment clockwise is positive okay we are done here or no oh did i make any mistake i think i made a mistake uh, why i'm thinking it oh yes to keep per feet times five feet so this is my force where is my moment i forgot oh uh-huh okay what see silly mistake it's not it's silly mistake but very big mistake i should multiply by 10 feet here also this portion will be my force to keep our feet working in 10 feet that means 20 keep that is my force after multiplying this five this five i'm getting the moment lever arm so actually this will be hmm, 100 100 keep feet yes 100 keep feet <coughs> okay so my reaction is done uh, but again to bring something else what is my rea um, re reaction a and i told the maximum shear force always occurs in support and what is the support reaction vertical a that means this is my maximum shear force so this is v max also this is also v max and this is also m max okay, okay something else Okay, let it new color. What is else? You can see here this is my W, this is my L. So, what is the maximum moment? Sorry, maximum shear force in a cantilever beam. Maximum shear force in a cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load is WL. If you come here, what is this? This is W, this is L this portion is l by 2 so what is the equation w l square by 2 so for a cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load maximum shear force is w l maximum moment is w l square by 2 you can memorize this or you can understand this now when you will take re uh, reinforced concrete design or steel design this will come that time i will not solve everything i will just write it down where i got it now you are learning it and it is in your book also you do not need to memorize just to give you some advanced uh, statement <coughs> okay so we got our moment we got our share post now we'll draw the diagram make sure you took the note and if you go to your uh, handout this is also in your handout so do not worry i'm just explaining this hopefully you wrote it down if you did not i'm giving you two more seconds already passed oh, what is my beam okay maybe this was my beam my moment this way was 100 keep it my load here was to keep our feet distance was 10 first shear force diagram and my unit is keep oh there's a reaction here that was that was 20 20 keep. what is the step uh, step for shear force diagram just follow the load follow the load what is my load at the beginning 20 so 20 up 20 up why it is up my reaction is up after that it says okay go down to keep per feet to go down to to keep per feet after going to 10 10 feet i actually go down by 20. i have 20 i'll go down 20. how i'll go uniform why uniform my load is uniform my load is here uniform so my slope here is here uniform load is negative slope is negative whatever the value there that is the slope here or uniform load so uniform going down 
Now in in a hand dot, what mistake I did? I drew this way, opposite way. That is wrong. I know how how I did it because when I draw it, I took a triangle, I place it there, I forgot to twist it. So in your handout, I, I made it uh, for a cantilever beam. I made it uh, downside. It will be upside. It is a positive. This is positive. Next one, shear force diagram. Oh, sorry, bending moment diagram. You need keep it. Okay, so take a new color. Keep it. What is my moment at the beginning? You can see. I have a moment here that will be considered now that moment I did not consider here no but I will consider here what is that 100 oh, why, why it is negative sign I should not use both the arrow and the sign together actually this 100 keep is actually this way counterclockwise so counterclockwise moment is negative counterclockwise moment is negative so I will go down by 100 keep after going down what to do take this area what is that area half 10 feet 20 keep that means 100 keep it and that is a positive number I have negative I have positive so balance will be zero how to go there straight line this way that way common sense most of my load is here zero load here so most of my decrease will be here zero here so this is my this is my answer and that is the moment diagram so something else for cantilever beam moment always negative if load is vertically downward Shear force is positive. Shear force is always maximum at the support, regardless of whatever the beam is. Whatever the beam is, shear force is always maximum at the support. Moment is always maximum where shear force changes its sign. You can say how how shear force changes its sign here. Why moment is maximum? Because you can see here in this diagram, shear force is zero here. And then positive here. It is not changing sign, but there is no other option. But it is very close to changing sign. Zero through twenty, there jump. So this is an exceptional case. This is where I solve a uh, cantilever beam. Okay, so I will stop my video here.